What's up my hoopers and if you clicked on this video today, you were wondering how to play college basketball without having to earn a scholarship. I'm gonna help you out. Let's check it out. The first thing you're going to want to do if you want to play college basketball without having to get a scholarship is hit the like button this is the most important thing you can do. Um, it helps the channel out, which helps me continue to give you tips, which in turn helps you get your college either paid for or, you know, make that college team or, or any team that you uh, that you want to make in the future. So, so smashing the like button is the first tip. The next thing would be find a connection in the athletic department, whether it be someone you know knows the coach or, or someone in the administrative staff. Um, find that connection and what I want you to do is send an email. Um, if you've got a number, that's even better. Send an email, um, you know, call. Uh, whether it be an assistant coach, if you can get the head coach's number, email, you know, send them, um, send them something. Um, but also, what you don't understand is that all this is public information. If you go on the school's athletic department website, you can get the emails and the phone numbers of the grad assistants. Grad assistants are our day to day right next to the coach in all of the daily tasks. Um, grad assistants are very intertwined within programs. So even if you can't get, you know, the, to, the, to the head coach or even an assistant coach, if you can get, you know, your name out to, to a grad assistant or a special assistant, um, just so, so your name is, is out there in the mix, that's going to help you out tremendously. After you get your name out there, you're gonna to wanna to find out when walk-on tryouts are. Now, I did mention in this video, this is about not getting a scholarship and still being able to make a team. So, some people will have to go through walk-on tryouts, some won't, but you're gonna to want to find out when they are after you reach out and your name is already in the mix, so, so they know you before these tryouts, but you're gonna to wanna to, uh, find out when those are and, and you're gonna to wanna to prepare for them, you know, be in shape. Uh, I'll be the first to tell you, when I was playing at, at the University of Arkansas, I would go watch walk-on tryouts and, and they were pretty brutal because the coaches are trying to find out, you know, who, who who's here that, that really wants to be here versus who who's who's a faker, who's a poser, who just wants to, to do this just for the status, who doesn't really love basketball. So they, they make the walk-on tryouts pretty grueling, they're tough. So make sure you come come uh, in shape, you know, you've worked on your game, you're ready to go, your mind is sharp, your body's sharp, everything's in line for this tryout because it's very important. The next thing, once you get to the walk-on tryouts, do not only focus on scoring. I, I've seen it many times. I, I went to, to, to walk on trials the four years I was at uh, University of Arkansas and watched. And the guys who came in, you know, thought they were way better than all the competition um, and wanted to shoot all the shots and, and wanted to, you know, uh, hog the ball and, and, and do all the things that you, you would think, you know, a coach like, oh, this guy's way better does not work trust me every single year that we had a a a player come from walk-on tryouts um they were not the one that was trying to ball hog trying to shoot all the shots the coaches immediately wrote those kind of guys off and and, and went for the guys who were hustling who were who were diving on the floor who were doing all the little things because you got to think walk-on trials the coach isn't trying to find their next steph curry they're not trying to find their next lebron james they might be there that might be you you might be the next steph curry for this team but that's not what the coach is looking for the coach is is looking for someone who's who's going to to provide a lot of energy going to provide different things in terms of being a good teammate they're not looking for their star player and, and keep in mind every single college has to have a walk-on trial. It is mandatory by the NCAA to have a walk-on trial. So if you can't find the information for whatever school you're, you're trying to go to, you gotta look a little bit harder because it is, it is mandatory by the NCAA that every single um, Division One or Division Two, Division Three um, team have a walk-on trial. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is Try to get to know or build a relationship with the guys that are currently on the team. Now you're probably wondering, how is that gonna work? Like, I, you know, I'm trying to make the team. How am I gonna get to, to get to know these guys? Um, that's shallow. Like, why would I do that? Those aren't my friends. Trust me on this. 
A basketball team is more of the player's team than it is the coach's team. And hear me out on this. You know, many coaches will not bring guys into the mix if the chemistry isn't there. So building chemistry, building a relationship with the guys that go to your school, you know, these players go to your school, they're, you know, they're in classes with you, building a relationship with them and having, you know, them vouch for you, whether it be after a walk-on tryout or if a coach is asking them, um, um, is, is going to be very key in, in setting yourself apart um, from the rest of the competition. The last thing I would say is show your ability and show your value to the program. Show your ability to be an awesome teammate. Show your value in that you know you are only going to, to help this team. You are only going to provide positive energy, positive things for this basketball team. Keep in mind, this is a walk-on tryout or, or, or you were not recruited to go to this school. So your leash is a little bit shorter than the five-star All-American freshman or the four-year starting senior. Your leash is shorter and you've got to be okay with that. You've got to understand that, you know, you got to come in every single day and the coach might not even look in your direction, um, but you have to be okay with that. You've got to bring value every single day. And at the end of the day, if you help the team win, you are going to find your way out there on the court. Trust me, guys, I've seen it a thousand times. My freshman year, I didn't touch the court, couldn't touch the court, but every single year, the coach didn't even look at me, actually, to be honest. Like, he, he was not worried about me. Um, you know, I even thought about transferring at times, but stick with it. And these coaches are making a lot of money. These jobs are, are highly competitive. If you bring value, if you bring something to the table that helps the team win, you will find yourself in an advantageous position in terms of playing time, um, in terms of role on the team, in terms of anything you, you, want, you want to say about basketball, you'll be in a good spot if you provide value. So make sure you're thinking, okay, I'm coming to this team to provide value, to bring a positive energy that that might be lacking or, or or it's not you know it's not you know robust enough bringing something to the table is is probably one of the most important things i can tell you um, because in doing that over time you know you might not play that initial um few months years or whatever you get there but you're eventually going to break through if you keep bringing that every single day that's probably the most important thing. I, can, I, I can't stress it enough, I really can't. With that being said, guys, those are the key things that you need to know if you were trying to play college basketball without a scholarship. This is not an uncommon route to take. A lot of guys take this route. It is hard to get recruited. You know, it, it's very tough to get recruited. And, and, and it's even tougher to get recruited to, you know, those dream schools that you grew up loving, um, you know, the schools in your hometown. It, it's tough to get recruited. Basketball team only have about 15 guys. Um, and it's very hard to secure one of those spots. So, so it, it, this is not an uncommon thing. Um, I saw, you know, you know, people were asking about this. I, 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 I do some research. I see this is a common question. So I wanted to get on here and talk about it. Uh, talk about it from experience um, and, and just give my two cents on 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 how you achieve certain goals in different routes. You know, you don't always have to go the traditional get a scholarship, sign the scholarship papers, show up on campus the first day and, and, and you're on the team. You can find other avenues um, and, and, and this is one. So, I mean, take some notes on this, understand it, um, you know, think about it a little deeper and, and, and believe. That's, that's the one thing I can tell you is 100% is believe in yourself and you'll be able to make things happen. That's it for the video, guys. This is the Manny Watkins Basketball Channel where we take your game to the next level. Thank you for watching to the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.